How's it going, Libra? I hope everybody is having an amazing Monday. For those of you that celebrated um, Father's Day, I hope it was, you know, wonderful memories. Let's get into your reading. We're going to see what messages need to come through, who needs to hear it the most. Um, please, if my voice sounds like it's raspy, I just spent a weekend with two teenagers and I think I caught something, so, or it just might be allergies. But one of them was coughing and sneezing, so something tells me she had a cold. Um, never force anything to fit in this reading. It is a general reading. So for Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placement, there's going to be messages that you feel drawn to receive. But I always recommend you watching your Rising, your Moon, and your Venus placement sign readings for all around um, additional clarity and similarities within the messages. All right, Libra, quick reminder, I'm giving away two free personal, no, three free personal love readings for the month of June. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe. For those of you that are new, I wholeheartedly welcome you here. Um, new and returning subscribers, leave a vacation emoji down below in the comment section, or just write the word vacation. At the end of this month, and there are, these giveaways are each and every month, as most of you know, at the end of this month, I will randomly choose those people to win the giveaway, and I'll always remind you the very last weekend of each month, for those that participate, to check your notifications. All right, let's get into the theme around today's love reading. King of Wands in reverse. Someone who acted... Um, you know, fire, energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you may not know them as a fire sign. They may have strong fire in their chart. This one, the King of Wands in reverse is someone who is very cocky. Um, could be mean at times. Someone who thinks along the lines as a party of one instead of party of two. Um, who steers away from commitment. Now, the King of Wands in upright is all about the passion, is all about the chemistry for their queen. But sometimes when the energy does not align, you know, I, I just keep hearing not so nice. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, there definitely wasn't an equal give and take in this connection, Libra. I feel that, you know... <clears throat> You did your best to pay it forward in terms of your time, in terms of your emotions, you know, and it wasn't reciprocated. Yeah, I really feel like this person definitely had. It, it, it basically, it's like this person was focused on their happiness and their happiness only. Um, working on having all their ducks aligned or in this picture all their coconuts aligned basically was living their best life for themselves but there's burdens going on in this person's life life has seemed like an uphill battle for them struggles chaos We'll get into the reading and see. I really feel that within relationships, you know, they didn't they didn't have a luck wasn't on their side. Let's see. All right, spirit. For Libra and the person coming through. Yeah, say. They were dealing with karmic issues, karmic partners, things that were happening, you know, in their relationship. And it very well may be that they were a part of those cycles that they lived through that were an uphill struggle. I feel spirit is coming through saying, you know, you may feel a loss. You may wonder why it didn't work out the way it did. You may feel, you know, why wasn't I enough and it had nothing to do with you. All of this was within them. Spirit was protecting you. 
by redirecting you away from this person. But look at this. Free will. Wanting to take a leap of faith. Here's the chaser. So very well, Libra. It was like the runner and chaser type of um, type of connection in the energy that they were vibing in when you met them. You could have chased them all you wanted. It was not. It was not going to turn out. First of all, if you're pay, playing a chaser, right there shows you. That, you know, it's not equal. It's not balanced. It's not fair for you. This person was unawakened. I feel like they were unawakened. If you see. It's kind of a darkness. You know, if I just stay here, I won't get hurt. If I just stay here, I won't have to have, you know, that faith on what, what's beyond, you know? But I do feel with the masculine energy showing up, they're seeking you out. You know, whether they're watching from afar and they're wondering how you're doing. But I don't feel like this person has completely given up. All right, let's get it deeper into the reading. I'm going to pull from multiple decks. So do stick around to the end. You know, and also Libra, I feel that this person put other people in front of you. With the, six, with the Six of Pentacles right here in the center of the reading, I mean, look, it's two people begging, right? And only one person is receiving the gold. I feel losing you was karma, was a payback for, you know, karmic payback on their end. Possibly for the way they treated you. They're still enduring those those continuing cycles in their life that feel like burdens because of the way they treat you. It's karma, you know? But I feel that they other they put other people in front of you. Whether it be children, um, family, friends. You know, it's like when you say, oh, I haven't heard from you all week. Well, you know, I was really busy. Monday, I got drinks with the girls, or I drink, got drinks with the guys. You know, Tuesday, I hit the gym, just was too tired to talk right after that. You know, it was always some type of an excuse. Yeah, five of pentacles. This could be a lack of money on their end. Um, lack of, you know, stability within their work, and they had to work extra. They might not have had that money to plan a date and take you out, or, you know... Sometimes when people do not have the finances, it's a huge burden on them. Six of Pentacles again. I got to say, I feel the ending was a cosmic shift in the universe to, to, you know, to bring you towards another path. Ace of Swords. I have to say, Libra, I really feel... Yeah, say the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This person hasn't completely walked away. They're wondering how you are. If, there it is. The Five of Swords in reverse. Libra. This person wants to make an amends. Maybe it's just to clear the air for those of you that have completely moved on. Because I got to say, the King of Wands energy is not the nicest energy. And this card doesn't belong in the deck. I feel for some of you, this person has is going to resurface, having a change of heart, but having gone through a lot of transformation within themselves. Some of you just might be wanting to hear them out for the closure. Let's see. Spirit, why is the Six of Pentacles here twice? The Six of Swords could be some distance apart. You know, and that played a struggle. But I also feel with the Six of Pentacles being here twice, it's also a cosmic shift 
within the universe to align you to your blessings, to what's fair for you. I feel this person, like I said, if you see the rippled water right here, it's leaving the troubled waters. It's coasting towards where it's calmer, more peaceful, more harmonious. All right. Spirit, please clarify the Five of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. This person was holding out. Like I said, they were they were just acting as a party of one. They weren't even thinking about being a party of two. They weren't. They could have been burned in the past. It's going to be different for each one of you why this person acted out in the King of Wands in reverse. We also have water energy here. So we have Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Libra could be a fellow air sign you're dealing with. We also have some earth and some water. But you know this, if you look at this Queen of Cups, she's deep in thought, you know? She's thinking about her feelings. She's thinking about how she was unawakened. He or she, it does not matter. We both have, we have masculine and feminine traits in each one of us. But, you know, working on emotional stability. I really feel, Libra, they weren't always in the energy of, you know, of just themselves. Sometimes they showed up in your energy and their heart was completely open. And you're like, you know what? I know I know that date was good. Everything went well. I haven't heard from them since that date. Now it's Thursday. Saturday night, you know, calls me after a whole night out with friends. Or, you know, it's just, it was here and there. All right, Spirit, why the Ace of... Yeah, but they're thinking about you, Libra. They are in their head about you. And that's what I was picking up on. Their worries are real in their life. But again, I really feel they're working on their emotional stability. But they can't stop thinking about you. You were something that stuck out to them. Something that was different from anyone else that they had met. I feel like this person might have been stuck in their past. And the Nine of Wands. Yeah, their past definitely had them feeling debilitated. All right, Spirit, how are you helping Libra within this connection? The Seven of Wands. Spirit wants you to stand your ground. Keep your distance. Let them make the effort to come towards you. Because you are worth the effort. These are the, also the ones that slid out three of cups in the chariot. So if they were a complete, um, you know, always out with their friends from Thursday to Sunday, um, always planning trips with the guys or the girls and never thinking like, you know, well, why, why don't we take a weekend away? They're moving past that energy. You could see the car driving past the three of cups energy. There is progress. Yeah. I feel it's divinely guided progress. We have the Nine of Cups, the World, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ace of Pentacles. So we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords showing up. Numerous times at the bottom of the deck was the Two of Cups when I stopped shuffling. So this shows a deeper bond. This very well could be a soulmate. Someone that feels very familiar to you. We're not meant to be with a soulmate in each and every lifetime. But it's the reason that some connections feel much deeper than others. I really feel that you've had this person since meeting you. You have this person in their head and, you know, going deep within themselves. There's some cards that are flipped over. Let me flip them back. I don't know how they got that way. You're the first reading, reading I'm doing for today. All right, let's see. Oh. All right, 
and spirit. Please clarify Libra's reading. Additionally, there's the Three of Swords. Like I said, you possibly are feeling heartbreak. You're wondering what happened. What could you have done differently? Nothing. You can't help how a person feels from their past at the moment that you meet them. And I say this in other readings. Why should you be anyone's crutch? And I know someone's going to say, I want to be there for them. But if it's at an imbalance, the universe is going to cause a tower moment. If there are multiple red flags, the universe, your spirit guides, they're protecting you. That's why there are breakups and divorces and separations. They suck. Absolutely they suck. But people change. People grow. And I feel the time apart was something that just needed to happen, Libra, or they were going to suck the energy out of you. Page of Pentacles. See, so you have this person thinking about you. You have this person thinking about the offer. You know, with the Two of Pentacles getting balanced in their life, but weighing out their options. You know, do I reach out to Libra? Should I just leave them alone? Um, I wonder if Libra completely hates me for being that King of Wands energy in reverse. Will Libra understand? You know, they're coming in slowly, Libra. And the Ace of Swords. I have to say, they're going to be honest about what is going on in their life. The negativity. what, um, Why they showed up in your life the way they did. Why, for some of you, they treated you so badly. And like I said, for some of you, you might be, you know what, thanks. I appreciate you thinking of me. I appreciate you telling me that now you feel like chasing after me, but I'm not really into that anymore. I've moved on. I've grown. You've caused my spiritual awakening by losing you. I'm grateful for that. You know, but I, I'm, I'm well where I'm at. Spirit with the Ace of Swords, what is this person going to say to Libra? Yeah. Then no matter what, they want this stable romance with you. They want it with the chariot. They want you to see how far they've come. Yin and Yang are what guides the chariot. Yin and Yang. So, again, so for some of you, it is a soulmate. I regret making you an option. I'm so, I'm so filled with remorse. I know, Libra, you're the one that got away. And again, remember, we started off with the Five of Pentacles. So this person was feeling like they didn't, you know, they, they couldn't give you what you truly deserved. They couldn't be all in. They were over here on the outside looking in. And that's within themselves. You didn't make them feel that way. What, they, what were burdens within their life, that has them feeling that way. But what you did do is you put that this person all up in their head. So where that they were at a pause within their life and they were very content, you know, not dealing You've made them want to be awakened. And now they're searching you out. No doubt this person has had a change of heart. Reinvention. Exactly. I am trying to reinvent myself and, and release the old me. I took you for, exactly. Here's the king of wands type energy in reverse. I took you for granted, disappointed you, and deserted you when you needed me the most. I want to come back stronger so I can build something better with you. That is that masculine energy seeking you out. We have Capricorn energy showing up. I was too focused on my career and my goals. Took you for, again, took you for granted and expected you to wait for me. Unfortunately, you knew you'd be waiting for a while. I'm sorry, I never put you first. That is exactly that King of Wands energy that flew out in reverse. And Magical Muse. 
I became inspired by you, by, I, sorry guys, I became inspired by your presence, your energy, and your beauty. Without you, I'm missing my tools to create my masterpiece. This person could have been very creative, um, creative with writing, creative with, po you know, poetry writing, creative with painting, building, you know, what have you. They might have been very artistic. They might have showed you how artistic they were. The things that they've created. But since you stepped out, it's like they really didn't have that fire in them to do that. those kinds of things. Let's see. What else do you have for Libra Spirit? Yeah, they are longing for you. What's great is the longing, the desire, the magnetic attraction and chemistry that they feel for you, it's igniting that strength within them. You are that driving force. When they come towards you, Libra, they're coming in wanting to be devoted. And there it is. Venus, the goddess of love, helping you out. The ruler of your house. They were so attracted to you, Libra. The way you carried yourself. The glow within you. The happiness and the, the light that you brought into their life. You know, even though they may have reached out Wednesday and Sunday... They were still, re I, believe me, I'm not telling you to settle for that. They were still reaching out because of your energy. Because you made them feel better about themselves. But that's not your job. If you want that to be your job, then you've got that free will right there. So be it. But that's not your job. You know what? I'm going to, I, I, as soon as they call, I'm going to be excited for what, what they've been through up until Wednesday. I'm going to be happy for them. But do they leaving you do they leave you feeling happy after the conversation, after the date? And I feel most of you did right. You stepped out. You are that Empress energy. You have to remember masculine or feminine, Venus the goddess of love rules your house. She's always protecting you. Always. And so is the universe. I always say you've got a multiple team of spirit guides, of, you know, archangels, guardian angels, whomever your spirit force is, they're always right beside you. You may not, obviously, you may not say it, but they're there. They're giving you answers. They're giving you synchronicities. You just have to open yourself up to that. O, I, S, R, P, U, D, H, W. Take what resonates. Leave that vacation emoji down below in the comment section. Libra, anytime you want me to tune into Just Your Energy, click on the link in the description box. Take you right over to my Etsy shop. Limited availability throughout the summer. Most of you know that. Um, but there are still readings available. I am running through the current... Um, turnaround time that is listed with each reading. So do take notice of that. And I am sending so much love and light, guys.